Lewis structure for O2, oxygen gas. It's simply two oxygens bonded together. But how are they bonded together is the question. Well, each oxygen brings six valence electrons with it because it's in group 16. Boron brings three, carbon brings four, nitrogen brings five, oxygen brings six. If each oxygen brings six and there are two of them, that means we have 12 valence electrons total required in the structure. The first thing I like doing is connecting the two atoms with a single bond and then filling my outer atoms according to the octet rule. Each oxygen needs eight electrons total. This oxygen currently has two electrons around it for the bond. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's now full according to the octet rule. But I only have eight electrons in my structure so far, and I need 12. So, 9, 10, 11, 12. Here, I have two oxygens connected with 12 electrons total. That satisfies the fact that I need 12 valence electrons total, check. But it doesn't satisfy the octet rule. This oxygen has eight electrons around it, good. But this oxygen only has one, two, three, four, five, six electrons around it. In order to make it eight, we're going to take two electrons from the other oxygen and share them. This oxygen still has eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, since there are two electrons in each bond. But now this oxygen also has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, here we have a legitimate Lewis structure for O2. If you're into calculating formal charge, you'll find that each oxygen has a formal charge of zero because there are four lone electrons and two bonds on each oxygen. Now, if you were asked for the Lewis structure of O2, this is probably what your teacher wants. I do want to point out that some places online like to show the Lewis structure of O2 like this. Now, if you've been, if you're just starting to learn Lewis structures, you're never, ever, ever going to have single electrons on their own. These are called radicals. They're more unstable than paired electrons. But this is also an acceptable Lewis structure if you understand the inner workings of the atom, how they react, etc., etc. Let me emphasize that again. If you were asked for the Lewis structure of O2, this is probably the one you were asked for. This one technically follows all the other rules, but because it has unpaired electrons, it's more of an advanced structure, and it's probably not the one you were asked for. Eh, I wanted to include it anyways, because feeding your mind whole is important. Hey, best of luck to you.